This act fails to contain any formal recognition. Alberta's Justice Minister announcing legislation to finally recognize Indigenous policing. By providing them an equal footing with those other municipal services, they will now be able to sit on the table with those other uh, police services. Minister Casey Maydew proposing amendments to seven acts, including the Police Act, to create a number of changes to Alberta's Indigenous police forces. The changes include giving them the ability to hire and appoint their own officers. We now have that ability, just like other police services, where if we have available money within our budgets to hire more officers, we are able to do that. That inequity that we've faced for the past 30 years um, isn't over because of this announcement. Inspector Farika Prince is with the Blood Tribe Police Force. She says many communities are stuck with a colonial policing model that overlooks Indigenous cultural traditions. While she welcomes Wednesday's long-awaited news, it's just step one. Step number two is going to be us moving from program-based funding to essential service funding. Adding their officers are still not on the same level as their provincial counterparts. First Nation police services uh, aren't allowed uh, into the same pension as other police officers in the province. Maydew hopes the amendments will encourage other Indigenous communities to create its own police force. Wednesday's amendments come two weeks after Maydew announces that his government is taking the next step towards looking into the possibility of a provincial police force that could replace the RCMP. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.